Yesterday I posted a video about another elderly doctor who's incarcerated for treating pain. If you don't have a million dollars to defend yourself, once the feds come for you, you're probably going to prison. And this person is saying, I worked on these teams. Terminally ill patients have plenty of access if we arrested doctors. You're a liar. You're so ill-informed on this issue. It pains me to read your comment. Do you know what the CDC Opioid Rapid Response Program is? Probably not. Do you know who Shabon Reynolds was? Probably not. Shabon Reynolds was a patient advocate who did what I did, and her plane mysteriously went down with her significant other flying it. As a former court reporter who was assigned to the grand jury, I have watched federal prosecutors lie to jurors. These doctors are incarcerated because they didn't chart something correctly. Doctors are now expected to be clairvoyant detectives. We will never stop diversion. And what I want people to understand is since the DEA has star started to target these doctors, opioid prescribing has been at the lowest it's been in 20 years, yet overdoses have increased by 900%. 900 percent people like this person right here they ought to familiarize themselves about the true facts in the united states right now thank you so much for supporting our efforts at the doctor patient forum you folks keep fighting and we're going to do the same